want to talk to you about 80% charging. 80% charging is this magical technique you can use to extend your lithium-ion battery life even up to three times longer. Whenever you go to a battery university or any other site that has good info on batteries in general and how to use them, or if you just look at the specs sheet of the lithium-ion batteries, even many of those have the expected amount of charging cycles listed, either with uh, a full charging to 100% or 8% charging. And yes, the, the difference is big. So, coming to electric unicycles, if you then buy a charger that has this option to stop the charging at approximately 80%, you would then have a, have a wheel that has a battery life instead of uh, two years, it, it could be three or even four years, right? Yeah. Wrong. Huh? This is something that constantly comes up at the forum.electricunicycle.org. And I must say that I recognize that ewheels.com is one of the absolute best sellers of electric unicycles. And it offers great service and support and help and guide and tips and helps you choose your, your wheels and the, the owner of the company really has done an amazing job. In this one instance, I have to say that they are doing a bit of harm. Ewheels sells chargers that they call smart chargers that offer a few additional functionalities compared to the regular chargers and one of them is this 80% charging. And if I go on the eWheels website, eWheels.com, the number one electric unicycle distributor. I have no doubts about that. Let's go with the basic Godway MSP RS German style 100 volt rapid charger. And let's see what they say. All these features. Here you go. Extend the lifespan, the battery pack by up to two to three times. There's one word missing there. If the battery pack is ready, the battery pack is ready. Okay, now the few issues with this text alone is that studies show that it does help a single battery cell. Studies do not show that partial charging will help a battery pack and then, normally, the battery would last 500 to 700 charge cycles. And do the math. And remember that a charge cycle is not when you charge your unicycle from 0% to 100%, but it's when you charge the whole available announced capacity of the battery cell. And none of the electric unicycles let you use the battery all the way to empty. So if you ride your wheel to 0% and charge it to full, it's not a full charge cycle for the battery. So for 500 lithium ion battery charge cycles, you will have to charge your unicycle for about uh, 600 times, from completely empty to completely full. 600 times. If you have a wheel with 1800 watt hour battery, the range you will get with the full battery is roughly 50 miles. And you can then charge it 600 times. 600 multiplied by 50, I chose these numbers here. It is 30,000 miles. So even if you charge to full every time, your battery capacity will be at 70% only after 30,000 miles. And with this 80% charging, it would only drop to 70% at 60,000 miles or, or even up to 90,000 miles. Now, I've been following the forums very actively and, and reading about people's riding habits all over the world. And I know of one single electric unicycle in the world that has been ridden all the way to 30,000 
kilometers. So that's not even 20,000 miles. And this is a feature that can extend the battery life from 30,000 miles. So this is obviously completely unnecessary. Then why did I make a video about it? Yeah. Because if you stop the charging at 80%, you will kill the battery pack much, much sooner. Oh no! Because the one thing that the E-Wheel site doesn't recognize, the BMS, which is the battery management system inside the electric unicycle battery, what it will have to do to keep the battery running is to balance the individual cell groups so that every time you charge and every time you ride each cell will be close to the same voltage. If one battery cell drops lower than the others, that single battery is burdened more than the others and when you ride it could go dangerously low and when you charge then the difference between the battery voltages will be even larger and it will go on and on until one of the battery cells drops dangerously low in voltage. 2.5 volts is usually the limit that if the lithium ion battery ever even visits a charge lower than that, it should be discarded, it shouldn't be used anymore at all. And it's not that far, if you think about it. The Kingsung 18XL, it lets the battery cells run to 3.0 volts. And if the battery cells get out of balance, one of the cells will go below 2.5 volts at some point. And there are no methods for the wheel to report the user about this. The reason why a battery that has gone lower than that shouldn't be used anymore is because charging it is dangerous. You can look it up on the battery university or, or anywhere, but charging a dead lithium ion cell is dangerous. And the other dangerous part is that the battery no longer can provide the instant power that you are used to. So if you are accelerating fast or if your wheel already has a smaller battery and you are riding closer to the limits, at some point the wheel will just lose power and it can no longer keep you up. And when the difference between the battery cells gets larger, in the BMS there are systems monitoring each individual cell that they don't get overcharged. Because that's a certain fireball event. So if you charge a pack that has batteries at the different voltage levels, when the first cells reach 4.2 volts, the BMS will start slowing down the charging of that cell so that the cells with the lower voltage will get balanced. But if the difference is too large, if slowing down the highest cells will not be enough and the highest cells will slowly go uh, to 4.25 volts and above and then the BMS will completely stop the charging process because then the, the voltage is going to, to a dangerous area and if there's a large difference between the battery cell voltages there will still be this weak battery cell that is below 4 volts and now that we have some batteries at, the, at full voltage and some batteries at, the, at lower voltage, the total voltage of the pack will be lower than the maximum voltage. So if you have a 100.8 volt wheel and you charge it up to full, chargers turn green and then everything looks okay, then you open up the app and look at the wheel's voltage. And it can be something like 97 volts then you know that there's an issue <laughs> the voltage reporting of the electric unicycles is not very precise so it was minus one volt it's still normal and no reason to worry but if you have 96.6 volts it is exactly 4.2 volts lower than the maximum 100.8 and if your charge stops there you can be pretty sure that you have a dead cell group in one of your batteries. And the problem is that the balancing happens only at the very 
last part of the charging process. When you charge any lithium ion battery, it will first charge at the maximum charging current that the charger can provide. And the charger adjusts the voltage so that the current doesn't exceed the maximum. And when the charging voltage reaches the maximum voltage, then it starts to lower the current. And the battery is not full yet. The balancing process is only starting. And if you stop the charging before the voltage even gets up to the 100.8, you will never balance the cells at all. <laughs> and when the voltage has reached 100.8, the charger keeps the charging voltage and it will allow the battery's internal voltages also get up to the 100.8 volts. This constant voltage part of the charging will take some time and that is mostly the period where the balancing happens. Different charges have a different threshold for the green LED. When the charging current drops somewhere between 0.3 and 0.7 amps, the charger will continue charging just like it did before, but the LED will turn green to report the user that, yeah, I'm about done. It happens a bit early though. So a good part of the balancing is still happening when the charger turns green. That's why we usually recommend that when you charge your electric unicycle, you should leave it in the charger for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, up to three hours after the charger has turned green. Because that's the only way that you can ensure that you are using the balancing feature of the BMS. And that's the only way to make your battery last. So, why is this so important that I wanted to make a video and I've been nagging about this at the forums for so much? What happens if you never balance your battery? What? You can search for topics that the users have started at forum.electricunicycle.org where the BMS of their battery pack stops the charging as a safety feature before the total voltage is up to where it should be. And there's basically only one reason for this to happen. And it is a badly unbalanced battery pack. And there are dozens of these topics. There is one user with the Kingsong 18XL who bought the rapid charger and only charged to 80%. And his battery pack was ruined in six months before riding 2,000 kilometers. What? 2,000, what? yes. What? Which is something like 1,300 miles. Oh no. When I started riding, it was said that a uh, balancing about every tenth charge is enough. So I followed that procedure. And on my 16S, the first pack died after 4,000 kilometers, and the second pack died at 8,000 kilometers. And yes, the reason was that the one cell group had gone down to zero already. Oops. Before I knew how much of a problem there was with the battery, my friend, much lighter than me, borrowed the wheel. When he was accelerating just normally, the wheel just didn't have the power in it because of the dead cell group. So he crashed and he damaged his face. The wheel I got after the 16S, the MSX. Because it was obvious that the, the balancing I had done with the 16S was not enough, I started balancing every single time I charged the wheel. So when the chargers turned green, I left it there for a few hours. I sold the wheel after 14,000 kilometers. And I hadn't noticed a decrease in range what? at that point. Wow. So there are all these stories all over about batteries dying on, on the EUCs. And it's all because the batteries have been so badly balanced. Oops. And remember, even with normal charging, you will still have 70% of your battery capacity after 30,000 miles. And no one will ever complain about that. No. I promise you. But the 80% charging myth is still being spread. Don't believe everything you hear 
find out for yourself. Yeah. These tips are the only ones that you have to be concerned about. Balance your battery pack every time or almost every time. Every tenth charge is not enough. And second, don't store it at full voltage or at empty for several weeks. So if you get snow in the winter and you're not going to ride for three months, then charge it up to 50-60% and when you start riding again, charge it full and let it balance for two to three hours. If you charge your wheel to full and go to a ride the next day, absolutely no issue. And yes, the system is crappy. Because on other devices with a large battery pack, it's getting quite common that users can check the individual cell group voltages. But on EOCs you can't. Yet. And this is something that is really needed. But what can we do? Until we get that, we have to just balance them blindly. So, that's it folks. Keep riding. Thank you.